Hello, and welcome to Admin Chat at Studio Tara Aaron. I am so excited to be here today to share with you the first module of my brand new e-course, Critic Be Gone, Five Bold Moves to Confront Your Critic and Cultivate Creative Confidence. You know, in these really challenging times, uh, we all need to really take the time to practice self-care. And that is the point, the absolute focus of the first bold move in this course. And so I am going to share with you the entire first module of the course today as a way to introduce one self-care practice that you can have and use over and over again to help yourself um, deal with the challenges. You know, when I was thinking about what I wanted to do for this admin chat, the one thing that really came to me um, was just compassion for all the challenges that so many uh, people in our profession are going through right now as many positions have been eliminated and people are looking at how to how to go, move forward from there and even for those who are blessed to be continuing in their employment um, there are challenges such as the adjustment of working from home and working remotely and the challenges of dealing with having kids at home and trying to help them do their schooling and balancing that with getting things done um, and then I mean, there's, the list is endless. Um, so, you know, there, there are just an infinite number of situations, an infinite number of challenges, and everything seems so intensified this year. It seemed a perfect time to share with you the, the practice of creating a resting page. So um, I will explain that a little bit more in the in the course segment itself. So let me just switch over now and uh, talk briefly about the benefits of the practice and then the supplies that you'll need so that you can just pause and go collect them, all right? So the benefits of a creative practice are really twofold. Um, that I want to focus on in this segment. First of all, um, I talked about how we're all really struggling with so many challenges right now. And so one of the nice things about creating a resting page is that it gives us a physical outlet for strong emotions that we're dealing with now. And then the second part or um, the, the sort of the secondary benefit that often arises is that as you work through these emotions on the page, they begin to clear. And because we're using visual creative practice, it engages the brain creatively and oftentimes opens up new insights and new pathways to finding solutions to those very same problems that we're dealing with in the creative practice. Finally, I want to talk about the supplies that you'll need. Now, uh, you'll notice that I have put up here the supply list from the course. You can ignore part two, cover and binding. We're just doing one page today, so all you really need is a piece of paper. And um, then we'll skip down to item three. You'll need some sort of adhesives. I recommend a glue stick, stick tape runner, masking tape. Um, that will probably be enough for this particular project. The third item, writing implements, just you know, grab some pens, grab some markers, fine liners, whatever you have around the house is totally fine. And then finally, you are gonna want some sort of color. So you could grab some magazines and just pull some images that you find interesting and collage those onto the page when we get to that point for some color. Or you could, um, you know, use you know, steal your kids' crayons. Well, borrow them, don't steal them, okay. Um, or, you know, if you are go, um, going to purchase something, um, I really, really love these. These are water-soluble pastels. Um, 
they are so versatile and they are great for this kind of work because um, you can use them in so many different ways. So anyway, um, so yeah, a piece of paper, uh, some glue stick or tape, um, a pen, pencil, markers, and some kind of color to lay down on the page. That's it. And we can get started. So you're back and that means you have your supplies and you're ready to go. That's great. Now, before we turn our attention to the desktop, let me explain a little bit about what we'll be doing. Before we get into creating the Smashbook container, we're going to just do a little self-evaluation and see what baggage we might be carrying from the day that could be interfering with our creative process, weighing us down, holding us back. And we're going to just put it out on the page and give it a place to rest. Let the book hold it for us so that we can move on. And we'll know when we're done with this page because we will feel a kind of a release in our emotions and maybe even in your body. That might be a ah, an exhale of relief or a sigh. You can feel when the process has helped you to relax and let go or to rest what it is that you're carrying. Let me demonstrate. So, one of the biggest challenges that I've been having in creating this course is creating this course. That is to say, I have been fighting with so many technical difficulties. Right now, I'm really anxious about the audio quality on this recording, as a matter of fact, because I've just learned that the computer, uh, the system on my phone does not allow me to hook up to an external microphone, and my PC, when I tried to use that to do the recording, it died. The BIOS got corrupted. Ah, uh, what a lot of baggage to be carrying in. And so what I'm going to do before I go in and start working on the, the actual full process of this, I am going to just let it go and lay it down. And so I'm going to do that by creating a resting page. Honestly, you can really do it anywhere in the book that you like, um, but you know, I kind of, it's uh, I kind of like to just keep the the very beginning of it open and fresh for something um, a little more pleasant than maybe a resting page, a little more fun and exciting. Uh, so I'm going to start by just writing out my anxiety on this page. Now that I've written out what I wanted to um, sort of get out of my system, I am going to bring my attention to this. Um, and for me, I usually use, uh, this is sort of the color that I associate with my spirit, my heart. Um, and I want to engage my subconscious mind or my higher self by turning this and opening it into an inquiry. And I'm just going to cover the whole page with this inquiry and say, please show me. Tell me, teach me. What it is I need to know. Help me find my way forward. Every time we do a page, we're going to bring this um, intentional inquiry to it because what this does is it moves your brain from being on a program of, okay, I know what the problem is, I, I know what the answer is going to be, into more of an open mind, 
literally a mind that is engaged in inquiry. And so, you know, sometimes when you're like, uh, something's on the tip of your tongue and you can't say it, you're sort of triggering that same sort of uh, search. And behind the scenes, your brain is going to continue working on this problem for you. And, uh, you know, so that's, uh, as I mentioned in the orientation, being alert to found items, things that catch your attention um, in the world around you, uh, these are going to then sort of feed back into these inquiries as you open them up. However, we are not going to stay here with this page indefinitely. Um, instead, what we want to do is we want to now give it a chance to rest. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this page with gesso. I'm just, I'm just going to pour it right on the page here. And I'm going to use an old membership card. Uh, I think it's probably, is it Footlocker? Uh, famous footwear awards card. Um, I have all the shoes I want, I guess. And I'm just going to cover this right over because this is not here so that I can indulge in wallowing in it or whatnot. It's here because I want to rest it. Um, so I'm going to cover it with some gesso and then uh, let that dry. And we'll come back to it after the gesso has finished drying. Once your gesso has dried, it's time to bring some color to your page and just spend some time in deep listening while you are working with the page. I am feeling for me like I am trapped in a very complex situation and um, as if to find the way out feels like a maze of possibilities and complexities and um, you know every time I, I think I've started there's been so many dead ends and flat out technological breaks and um, and then so I'm gonna start by creating just an image of a maze um, you know you can use the image of a maze if you like it's a wonderful one to, to relate to the idea of trying to find your way out of a difficult situation, whatever that may be, um, particularly one that requires persistence and, and uh, stick to it um, So, yeah, uh, let me just spend some time in inquiry here. So, as I am drawing this maze, there are a number of thoughts coming up to me. Uh, first of all, the unnecessary complexity. Second of all, the fact that I don't necessarily have just one choice of where I'd like to go. Um, that's a piece of the puzzle that uh, maybe it's not so much about dead ends as the choices I make will take me to different places. and. You know that that could be interesting and adventuresome and uh, so I am going to now lay down some color over this um, I'm going to lay some blue for 
my favorite color to represent the, the uh, inner light that guides me. And maybe some, I don't know, I'm just going to play around with some color right now. And uh, actually, I'm going to, before I do that, I also want to put in a representation of the, oh my gosh, so many choices. So what's complex, what's broken, and then just the overwhelm of so many choices to make. Um, so, and I'm not going to be particularly respectful of my space here. Now that I have created this core imagery, I'm going to sort of paint over it and just bring some color to the page um, and continue my inquiry. Feeling guided, perhaps it's a simple pattern. <music> Good morning, beauties. It is a brand new day here at Studio Tara Erin at Knucklehead House in Brookfield, Mass. And I am full of excitement and energy to help you come along with me on the next stage in our journey. Now, after working on my resting page yesterday, I actually had a really terrific example of how these pages can work to help unlock things in our lives. I had done my resting page grappling with the sense of overwhelm, of too many choices, and of um, roadblocks where my technology was breaking down, and uh, some other stuff, just the, the overall, um, just feeling like I was stuck and not being able to move forward with this course production. However, after I had worked it out on this page, my brain took those questions and I thought of a new way to approach the inquiry with some new search terms, put them in, immediately came up with a plugin that is perfect for what I need for course delivery, I think. Um, not sure that the, uh, the roadblocks are, are entirely done. There's always going to be uh, new technological challenges around every corner, but I'm really, really excited. And I'm going to actually take a moment to mark that breakthrough and celebrate it right on the resting page where I had first gone into this inquiry about feeling trapped and needing to find not only a way out and a way forward, but the right way forward for me. So let's, let's make sure that as we go, we're not only... Um, wrestling with the problems, but celebrating the victories. So here we see the resting page as I left it at the end of our last session. And um, I'm noticing that the edges are curling up. That's actually because I haven't gone through and we haven't really constructed the book yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly glue these two pages down so that they are sort of anchored onto and doubled up with the page prior and subsequent. Uh, nothing, it's not, doesn't need to be too intense, just a quick crisscross of glue. And um, yeah, just, just, oh, although it is sort of, this side is so sort of stuck down with the, with the paint, that will happen. Um, but don't worry about it, it's just part of working in the book. And uh, but sometimes it, leads to things being hidden that will be revealed again later. And that can be really fun in and of itself. So, all right, so we've doubled up these two pages here. And now I am feeling like really what the lesson was that I learned was not only asking the questions, but 
Finding the right question to ask really made all the difference in this case. So I am going to mark that by sort of putting a wash over all but one of these glorious question marks that are all over the page. I'm going to leave this one sort of out in the open um, as a reminder and, like I said, a celebration of this, uh, this breakthrough in my project. Actually, add some sparkles and starlight into this. So I'm just going to go right in here, add a little bit of white into my thing for the sparkles and starlight. Now it's still pretty wet, so um, some of these are going to diffuse, and that's kind of all right, I think. Um, I am going to dip my paint in, I use a very soft, it's actually a watercolor brush. I find those tend to splatter a little better. I'm going to load it up with a little paint. I'm going to add a little bit more water to it, not too much. And um, now I'm going to just splatter and yeah, there we go. And so there it is, one big star, like a, like a North Star coming in, um, the question I needed to get to the answer, um, and there you go. I'm going to let this dry now, and then when I come back, we will get going on the cover and ribbons and creating the container and setting the intention that we have for this book. Well, I hope you really enjoyed that little creative practice there and that it brought something to you, maybe even all the way through some sort of an evolution or breakthrough. This is one of the reasons that I love teaching creativity because really creative practice, a regular creative practice is a wonderful way to start achieving those kinds of breakthroughs and insights on demand instead of just sort of random and haphazard whenever life sees fit to drop them in on us. That's because we're really building that creativity the same as if we're exercising a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. And the more you learn to trust your inner voice, so you'll get the messages more often where you might have ignored them in the past. Um, in order, as a special offer to everyone who is watching this video in the month of September 2020, I am inviting you to continue your exploration and cultivation of your creative practice by offering free access to my brand new e-course. This is pre-launch access uh, to my brand new e-course, Critic Be Gone, Five Bold Moves to Confront Your Critic and Cultivate Creative Confidence. So go to www.taraerin.com slash classes, click on the title of the course, and you will be able to use the password right here, Critic Be Gone 2020. You will have full access to the course through the entire pre-launch phase, um, at least through the end of September 2020. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. And I hope to see you there. Thank you.